Welcome to another The Builders Extra. Today we're going to reach back a couple days to episode 86 with Melaine Mullings. Melaine and I had a fantastic conversation. She is a uh, author, she's got a consulting business, but she also built a business. And she had a uh, pretty successful business for like 13 years that she turned around and sold. But uh, we got into this conversation around the challenges of starting a business like that, it may not be obvious. Like you see somebody that sold a business and automatically it's like, wow, th these they must be really good at building businesses. Um, and in this case, I was like, well, this is your, I, I kind of pointed that out. It kind of struck me that this is her first business. She builds it for 13 years and sells it. She was super successful. There's more to the story. <laughs> like, how did you do that? Did you have mentors? Did you have, you know, how did you turn that into a success? She had no business experience going into it, right? And I, and as somebody that's been in many businesses uh, or started many businesses, uh, I kind of, you know, it's not easy. You know, um, there's a lot, lot to it. There's a lot of reasons it can be not easy or sometimes you can get lucky and, you know, but one of the things I think that we were, we, one of the things we kind of dove into a little bit is the fact that there's this perception of people having that overnight success, you know, but the reality is it took them 10, 20 years to get there, you know, it's like, wow, look how awesome they are. They're, you know, got the nice car and house and, you know, um, and their life is beautiful, you know. And you look at somebody sometimes, and sometimes it, they did get lucky. You know, they were given the money or there's some other story there. But a lot of times it's like there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears to get to that point. You know, a lot of hard work, a lot of struggle. And that story is often hidden behind that success, right? It's something that's kind of like happened behind the scenes. And we don't, we talk more about our successes. We don't always talk about the struggles that l lend to that success eventually. And that's why on this on the podcast, The Builders, I like to dig into that a little bit. You know, I know we can sugarcoat a lot of things and just talk about, wow, these successes you're having. But we need to also talk about uh, the bad things that happen. I try to do, to censor myself uh, a little bit because I could talk a lot about a lot of bad things, right? And I'm here to inspire. I don't want to make anyone sad or scared to start a business or continue their business or whatever, but I certainly have uh, things from the trenches of, over the years, uh, bad things that happened to me in previous businesses. This current business has been pretty good, but, <laughs> but I've been there. So like what she was talking about, so basically her story, it was this 13 years, she built this business. It was a nurse recruiting business and, and she, it did really well. She sells it, right? But then she talks about those first three and a half years, she didn't make a dollar. And what that meant, well, how I interpreted that, because she's also said, I went into like $300,000 in debt. So that means it took that long to get to a profit, right? So she's going into debt, 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 debt. And in her case, like often happens, the creditors are calling, you know, you got to keep the lights on and it becomes kind of a nightmare you're living. And that happened to me. Uh, you know, that I had points uh, over the decades where uh, it's been a little while, but I, I got the scars of having a situation where a business went south, went sideways. One in particular, it was uh, one of the first big failures I had when I was uh, in, had match painting repair, MPR remodeling. And we were, I had a crew, you know, and I was paying them. <laughs> Um, but I got into a bad partnership and I don't want to go into all the details with that, but I got into a bad partnership and I was promised a lot of things and I like, okay, I'll just start putting stuff on credit cards. Right. And all those promises he's making me will, you know, pan out and they didn't. 
a lot happened there. And what ended up happening is I went into pretty pretty good debt. Not like 300,000 debt, you know, but still thousands, right? And that just kind of started to spiral and, and um, it took me a while to, to, I don't know where I stopped again, debt wise. I've never been in uh, like 20, 30,000, 100,000, 300,000 million dollars in debt or anything. But enough debt where it was a challenge to get out of it. And it took, it kind of reverberated for years. I don't know, maybe it was tens. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it took a long time to get back out of that. But it just it then it impacts everything else. So now if you want to start another business, you want to do something else, now you got bad debt and and your credit score is not great and all this stuff happens and the creditors do call because you have to delay paying something in order to maybe continue to run your business or to pay your people. So you're oftentimes and I guess this was me like I was there was a period of time where I really believed in my business and I had a team, employees to pay, and I would pay them before I would pay myself, which meant my bills weren't getting paid, where I had to put on a credit card. It's tough. And that leaves scars. It's a, it's a place you you want to try to avoid, but many people end up there. Um, she was throwing out statistics. It was ridiculous. Watch that episode. I mean, it's um, she loves statistics, so it was fun. Uh, but there's a lot of businesses in that situation that aren't prof aren't profitable, or you know, I'm probably talking to somebody or uh, that's listening to this that is in that situation or has been in that situation. It's very common. It's hard to make a profit. Now, I I don't think it was actually in that podcast. I think the last one we were talking a little bit about um, profitability, and um, I said I was in a unique position because. In my four years, I, from day one, I was profitable. But I'm in a very unique situation. And maybe those lessons I learned years ago uh, resonate. But I made sure that I never put myself in that position. And so it was, it's easier for me because with what I do, you can have almost zero overhead. So everything that I was doing in the beginning was profit because no overhead. <laughs> and then as I started making money, then I would start investing in, in tools and, and then people and then, but I never did it without having a profit. So I always did it with what I could, you know, a lot. But that's how you, that's the ideal situation, but it's not that way for everybody. So I think hearing stories like that, I think are really powerful because I think it's very, for sure it's inspiring, right? And for sure, and hopefully, somebody on this podcast is listening to this in a similar situation. But know that you you know you got to just keep taking it one day at a time. You have to stay focused. You're going to hear the phone ringing, the collect debt collectors. You're going to hear if you got. You know, thank God I have a supportive wife, although she was not acting supportive, but she never left me, so that's good. <laughs> uh, but. You know, if you got a family, you got all these responsibilities, all that's weighing on you, but you still have this dream. And you may have to lay down that dream for a minute just to get control of things. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of advice to share that way, but um, but if you really believe in something and you can, you know, you can justify pushing forward, you know, you know, sometimes that can, you know, eventually you'll break through, hopefully. Um, you got to also know when to quit, you know, uh, I've even had a whole episode on that, I think once, uh, but, uh, you know, the no quit attitude is great, but you eventually you got to say, okay, <laughs> maybe this wasn't for me. Um, or maybe there's a reason I need to just pause for a minute, but, uh, but it's, it's hearing those stories though. And, you know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm, I have a pretty good level of success today. But know that that wasn't always the case in the past, in previous businesses I had. I had to learn those lessons. Same with Mullane, same with others. Um, and the, you know, you just got to keep pushing forward. You got to, you know, got to understand that uh, you can get through those things. Uh, even if you get into debt, it may take you, it reverberates. It took me years. It had like this, these, this ripple effect on what I was doing. So it was harder for me to do things going forward. I still wanted to do business, <laughs> you know. So 
I had to really bootstrap stuff uh, with very little money uh, for a little while. Uh, but uh, but you you can recover from that. You just gotta you know keep pushing. Anyway, I hope that's uh, interesting, inspiring. But definitely go listen to that episode if you haven't. Um, I think it's uh, she's. Bes- it was a great conversation overall. Talks about endurance and all that stuff. It, it's it's fantastic. But uh, if you're in a position right now where you're struggling, you know, don't give up. Don't give up. You know, you can, you'll get through it. There's there's light at the end of the tunnel, even though if you can't. If so, maybe it's around the bend. <laughs> but uh, but if you keep pushing and you keep uh, believing in yourself and working on yourself, we talk a lot about that in that episode. Inner the inner work is super super important and that's what will get you through until next time take care